Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to read you one of my favourite stories, one of my favourite traditional tales, and it's Jack and the Beanstalk. Are you ready? Once there was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother. They were so poor that she said to him one day, we'll have to sell our cow. It's the only way. So Jack took the cow to the market. Oh, Daisy, said Jack, I'm really going to miss you. You're my only friend here. On the way, Jack met a stranger. I'll give you five beans for that cow, he said. They're magic beans. Done, said Jack, without even thinking. But when he got back, five beans for our Daisy the cow, cried his mother. She took the beans and threw them out of the window. She wasn't happy at all. All through the night, the beanstalk grew and grew and grew till it was right out of sight. Before his mother could say a word, Jack put his backpack on. See you, Mum! And up he climbed. I'm going up, going up, going up, and I'm never going to stop. Oh no, I'm going up, going up, going up, till I reach the very top. He didn't stop till he got to the top. He persevered. He was resilient. There, Jack saw a giant castle. He knock, knock, knocked on the giant door. And the giantess opened the door. Inside, Jack could hear a thump. Thump, thump, a crash, a bang, a stomp. <gasps> Quick, said the giantess. Hide, my husband the giant is on his way. He is hungry. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Watch out. Everybody, here I come, roared the giant. The giant sat down for his supper. He ate potatoes after potatoes, 100 in fact, and 100 chocolate biscuits. And then, feeling happier, he looked at his gold. The giant started counting his coins. One, two, three. And he fell to sleep. Jack took a golden coin under his arm, snatched it and ran away. Jack climbed back down the beanstalk. Gold? cried Jack's mother. Yes, Mum, at the top of the beanstalk there was a giant castle and the giant had gold. What? Oh, Jack, we're not going to be poor anymore. But Jack wanted to go back, back up the beanstalk and the next day he climbed and climbed and climbed and he didn't stop till he reached the top and this time when he got there, Jack heard the thump, thump, crack, 
crash, bang. Let's say it all together, everyone. B, five, fo, fum. Look out, everyone, because here I come, roared the giant. The giant sat down for his supper. This time he had 100 baked potatoes and 200 jellies. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. And then, feeling a bit happier, he sat down and counted his golden eggs. One, two, three. Jack did the same again. He grabbed a golden egg and raced down the beanstalk. Mum, Mum, look what I've got this time. Golden eggs, said the mother. Oh, Jack. We'll never be poor again. But the next time Jack went up, he took the golden harp and the giant found him. B, fi, fo, fum. Watch out everyone, cause here I come. Oh no, said Jack. The giant started to chase him. Uh oh. Down the beanstalk! Run, Jack! Jack got to the bottom. <sighs> Mum, quick, get the axe! Chop, chop, chop! <whistles> Crash! The giant came tumbling down. Oh, Jack! said Jack's mum. Thank you. We will never be poor again. Now get back to the market and get Daisy the cow back. I'm going to put on a nice pie for tea. The end.